Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Sorry it's been a while since I made a new video. Uh, I've just been really busy. I uh, actually bought a house, so in case you wonder, I bought a house uh, with my girlfriend and we're planning on moving pretty soon over there. So uh, that's what I've been doing and in my free time I've been driving my BMX as you can see. I really love my BMX, it's just so much fun. Uh, I'm also trying to do this voiceover after um, my point of view uh, with the GoPro. Uh, if you guys like it then uh, let me know so I'll do that more in the future. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos, I've just, like I said, I've been really busy and um, yeah, so I'm actually doing this. Uh, as I watch the video, I'm also recording, so <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of like live because I'm not gonna uh, edit it out or anything. So if I make a lot of mistakes, uh, it will be in the video. Uh, but I'm hoping I'm not gonna make much mistakes. Uh, I also don't speak that much English anymore lately, so uh, it's just um, yeah. I need to get back into it, so uh, it's gonna be. It probably will be fine though. Uh, but yeah, I love my BMX. I've been doing this uh, a lot. I've been riding for a month now uh, Like every night I at least uh, ride for one hour uh, I've been mainly focusing on learning the um, The bunny hop or pro hop uh, as you can call it. Uh, I've been, I totally suck at fakies They're just, They just just don't work for me. I don't know why I just can't do them. I, I don't know something in my brain it just doesn't work or something I know you need to practice a lot more and then you can eventually do it but for now it just doesn't work for me um, but yeah I've been getting really good at these jumps uh, as you can see I can jump here over um, not completely over it but I'm jumping high enough so I can actually uh, just roll out of it which is like I, I like it uh, it's good to get to that you be able to go around uh, I used to skateboard a lot so um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers ride BMX and it just looked a lot of fun and that's the reason why I actually bought one. Uh, I ha Before this I have never uh, ridden a BMX before but um, yeah, it just seems a lot of fun. Uh, all these tricks you can do on a BMX and yeah, it just looks really cool and yeah, I don't know, it's just something that I really enjoy. Um, like I said before, I used a skateboard. Uh, I did that for about, uh, I think I did about two years. And I was able to uh, only kick flip and that sort of thing, but um, yeah, I just uh, after a while I I just didn't do it anymore. Um, yeah, so I also have a scooter. <laughs> I know a lot of people hate scooter riders, but um, I just like it all. I mean, I, yeah, as long as it has wheels or anything, I'm I'm good. If it's a skateboard or a scooter or um, uh, BMX, I'll just do it. Oh, this is a really cool part, by the way. Uh, it was kind of like a big jump. Uh, not really that big, but for me, it's kind of big. As, as I said, it's only I've only been driving for about a month, so um, as you see, yeah, here we go. We did it. So, uh, like I said before, when I started off, I was actually doing the bunny hop like totally wrong. I Pretty much just lift the bike up and then land it. But uh, with a pro hop, you kind of uh, first jump with the front wheel, and then you um, and then then you move the back wheel up as well, so you uh, level it out. Uh, which I didn't understand at the beginning. I just couldn't get get it to work. Uh, but I finally am comfortable enough that I can say I can do them. But I just can't do them that high. Yet. That's the only problem. I mean, I can do it like uh, what what like half a meter. Am I saying that correctly? I don't even know. This is usually the spot where I'm at at night, uh, where I'm just practicing. There's like uh, some good curves here. Uh, the downside is just that in the Netherlands, uh, there is like a really no good skate street cross spots. There, this is all you're getting. Uh, like these curves here, uh, we got some bigger curves over here. This is where I'm usually at uh, when I'm just practicing. I usually also wear protection, but for this um, for this video, I was thinking I'm only gonna do uh, pr uh, jumps and I'm not gonna do that many tricks, so uh, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt myself. I mean, I'm totally comfortable doing these jumps, and and I never really feel like them. So I'm like, yeah, I can do them. Um, yeah, I'm just getting on this stupid curb. 
I didn't actually know there were actually people here. Um, <laughs> as you see, they're right there. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh well, I'm just gonna go and drink some water. Because it was really hot that day, uh, today. So it was like 35 degrees outside. Do I actually... Is it like in Europe the same as... I think uh, Americans use Celsius, I think. But uh, it was 35, which is quite hot. Uh, my whole shirt was wet, but I was like, yeah, I don't care. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> uh, I really don't have a big problem with with hot weather. So it's more like yeah, all my clothes are getting wet, but it's not really that. It doesn't bother me really, me that much. Uh, so yeah, what else can I say? Uh, I love BMX. Uh, uh, how I got into BMX is pretty much from uh, watching a YouTuber called. Uh, I watch this YouTuber every day, it's called Ryan Taylor, he does like this crazy illegal stuff, which is so fun to watch. And yeah, he, when I saw him riding the BMX and all the tricks he was doing, I'm like, whoa, this looks so cool. So, uh, f I used to always sit in front of the computer and I just, I don't know, I felt like I was wasting my life. And um, after a while I just, I don't know, uh, I was, in a, I was uh, in a hospital for a long time. And it kind of made me realize that um, I am wasting my life just sitting in front of the computer the entire day. I mean, I still play games every now and then when I'm really bored, but uh, it's more like it's no longer necessary. I mean, I'd rather just go out and build my BMX and just ride it. It's way more fun than getting out there. People, You actually uh, have conversation with people sometimes, which is, is something I never had before. and. Before I always was in front of the computer and the only conversation I was having was uh, calling somebody a noob or uh, <laughs> calling somebody to kill themselves, uh, which isn't really um, a very positive experience. So um, was <laughs> I, was, I thought like I'm going to go down here, but the road was so bad and uh, I didn't fall or anything. But that's a, that's a cool thing what I like with BMX, even if you sometimes fuck off, like for some time I make a jump and I'm leaning too far back. The, uh, most of the times I can still actually just shift my weight to the front and not fall. Uh, if I do it on my scooter or skateboard, I usually fall because uh, it's just harder to correct yourself. Uh, at least that's from my experience. Um, so yeah, I'm currently in a location called uh, Katerbroek, which is um, a Dutch. I'm, I'm Dutch, so. <laughs> but like I said, in the Netherlands there's like no real, um, no cool street spots. And the street spots that, that are there, they are pretty much like, they have like this uh, skate stop. Uh, it's so annoying. So th this is the only thing I can actually do. Uh, also, I'm, I'm not... The thing is, I'm also a little bit scared sometimes, uh, like when, when the jumps are too high, uh, I feel like uh, I don't want to break my arm again. I've, I broke my arm on inline skates before, uh, my girlfriend got me into it and I was like, I will give it a try, but I don't know, I was just really not comfortable on them. I was like, my arms were going all over the place. I, uh, that day I actually crashed three times, one time in grass and... I mean, I'm a skateboarder, inline skates is, I don't know, it, it just doesn't work in my brain, it, it's, I don't know, it's, I find it hard, and for me it's also boring, like when I just drive the entire time and not do anything fun, uh, what most people do in the Netherlands when they buy inline skates, they just pretty much go from A to B, and yeah, that's pretty much it, they don't do any, any tricks. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll buy inline skates. And then I saw all these videos where people are doing tricks with inline skates. And I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. And that day, I the first time I I literally just crashed <laughs> into the grass. Uh, I went too fast and I didn't really know how to break with inline skates. Because my, I, I bought like these pro skates, which are pro stunt skates. Uh, they don't have brakes. <laughs> I know it, it sounds stupid. But I didn't know how to break, and I just went into grass, and, and I, I just I just fell there, and I'm like, that kind of hurts. <laughs> and then later on, uh, my girlfriend decided, oh, you don't know how to break, let's go off this bridge, which is going to make us a lot of speed. Uh, I was terrified. But um, also, you probably wonder, what are you doing on this half half pipe? Uh, a little bit off topic. Uh, I found this half pipe, but the thing is, this material, what it's made of, I don't know what the material is. But it's really slippery, and I was like, 
Uh, if it was probably like brick or uh, concrete, I'd probably try it. But this material just, I don't know, my front wheel was right away slipping and I didn't really feel comfortable doing that. So I was like, I know a lot another spot where I can go and that's a lot more fun. Uh, because I, it's always there's like no, never anyone there and it pretty much is like um, uh, two sides just goes up. And also <laughs> this was fun, I was like on the bike path and this, tr this, this tractor just came at me and I'm like what the hell. And then I saw like him spreading water and I'm like no not on my bike, not today. And I'm like, how do I get onto the, the bike pad again? So I pretty much just went there. And then I saw this thing. I was like, mm, I, I think I'm comfortable enough to jump this. Uh, but I will think about it and I'll come back later uh, if I'm comfortable enough to do it. Because, like I said, sometimes I'm just a bit scared. I also don't want to break anything because if I break something... Um, my work is just not gonna like it, uh, so I'm taking stuff a little bit slower than most people probably. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm having fun, and uh, that's all that matters really, right? Uh, you you buy a bike just to have fun, and a progression is made daily, and it it doesn't have to be um, in a week or something. Uh, I mean, it can take years before you get better. So currently, I can only do. Um, uh, pretty much only the 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 pro hop. So to call, can I call it like that? I mean, I'm not even jumping high, so can I still pro call it pro hop? And what else can I do? Um, I can't do a manual yet. <laughs> I haven't really tried it yet. Uh, I will in the future, but I, I want to perfect the first trick first because I find it really important. Uh, so I'm actually at my spot, and I noticed that the entire uh, thing that was here. Is gone so there's like construction going on here uh, this was where the uh, the thing was where you can drive up it's kind of was like a, a quart pipe or something uh, they had like this uh, bricks going up a hill and it was pretty cool and as you can see now it's totally gone uh, you can see it in my older video uh, I just really hate that it's gone uh, but I guess yeah what can you do about it it's not my property, so uh, oh, as you can see, I right away went. <laughs> this was really, really quickly, but uh, I actually jumped up that uh, curve, those two stairs. It's only two stairs high, but I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty proud about myself to be able to do that. So, uh, I mean, I will increase the height slowly. I'm not gonna take it like uh, on a daily base. And also, some lot of times I feel like some days I can do like everything. It's just gonna work, and other days I'm like. I don't know, I, my, my, my feet just slips off the pedal, I don't know, I'm just hurting myself the entire day, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna stop right now because it's not working out. I uh, also can't do 180 yet, which kind of sucks because I really want to be able to do that. Uh, here I'm just having a little fun, I'm, I'm just standing on, on the on the saddle, uh, it's, it's not really, <laughs> it's not really a trick or anything, I mean, I don't know, I think everyone can do this, right? I mean. It's not that hard. You just stand on the saddle and you balance yourself. Uh, I'm assuming everyone can do it. It, it, it doesn't really take skills, in my opinion. <laughs> but I, find, I, I still like it. I mean, people people uh, look at you and they're like, Oh, that's nice that you can do that. <laughs> uh, I was trying to actually get my hands off the steering wheel, but for some reason it always goes one direction. I'm not sure why. It doesn't like stay in the middle. But when I sit on it, it, it actually does stay in the middle when I'm uh, not holding the steering wheel. Which I kind of don't understand. I don't really know uh, what the logic is behind that. So, um, yeah. So I'm actually just uh, right away now on my way back because... Um, this, this woman was actually... Uh, she saw me like standing on my bike and she kind of find it funny so she was laughing at me. Uh, or maybe she was laughing at me. <laughs> no, she was just laughing and I thought it was funny to keep that in. But yeah, it's going pretty fast, so you might not have seen it. My cat is meowing. Again, me standing on my bike. Uh, this is actually pretty fun because that was like a, a bridge going over a highway. And I don't know, I, I find it funny to sh make the people in the, in the car see something funny on the bridge. And that's why I was standing on my bike. 
So this is the, the foot stop that I'm practicing also, uh, the foot stop tail whip and then um, this is bar spin. Uh, the thing is what I kind of hate, I like the break, but it's also um, kind of annoying sometimes because uh, when you do a bar spin, the brakes always get in the way. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.